So this line is um, over an E7 chord. Uh, basically, we have a riff. Okay, and we have some chords being uh, E7 here. And E7 here. So those are the uh, things that you hear on the uh, jam end that I'm using here. Uh, the line starts after beat one, so we'd have one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and it's a minor idea uh, over a major kind of a sounding deal. And so I'm playing the second and third strings here at fret 14, pulling up to fret 12, playing the fourth string at fret 14, okay. And that's basically the line. I'm just repeating it. Um, and so anyway, this is a, um, I kind of like this riff and, and chord thing going on. So I was playing a bit uh, before I started making this video. And uh, what's interesting about this sort of thing is that you can play minor ideas. Uh, and I'll play for a bit here. Uh, using a line to lead in. So all the blues licks that you know you could use here, okay, basically. So you could use those, um, and that will be the minor idea, but you can also play some uh, major ideas, of course, because it's over a major chord. Okay, a riff there. That's a G sharp. That's what makes E major, E major, okay? so. So anyway, uh, I'll play some of those as well, and uh, you could think of this as um, a lot of people like to think of modal things, especially over one chord, which will make a lot more sense, um, at least to start. Don't get me started. Uh, but basically, E7, that's the what? It's the 5 of A major, so just play an A major, or if you want to call it something, play E mixolydian, whatever, which is technically true because it is an E tonality, E major tonality the whole way through, but we're thinking of where we're hearing the seventh. And you flat it, okay? So, since it's static, we'll go with that. All right. Anyway, so I'll play some lines for that, okay? some of those and go ahead and steal them. I don't care. Have fun. <laughs> 